Ah, the library. So dusty. So boring. <laughs> but what's up, everybody? This X Dragon here, back for another episode of Let's Play Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. In the last one, we had made our way here to Ospio, and I keep hitting the wrong button. And we met our quote unquote core thief, Rita Mordio. But turns out she's not the thief. But in this one, she's decided to help us and figure out what's going on. And we're gonna get moving on that just now. But first, I wanna make sure of something here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um. I'm gonna forget. Eh, that's a little pricey. Ah. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Aw. <laughs> Sorry, just a little bit of gear shifting. Hey, let's roll! Um, now nah, I'll be fine. I'm sorry, I thought about if I wanted to heal or not, but I'm like, nah, I think I'll be fine. Alright, so we want to head over here, please. Thank you. And this is where we want to be. Yeah, nope, get away from me. These are the Shikos ruins. It looks like there aren't any Imperial Knights around. are still fresh. There's a lot of them, too. Which means it's either the knights, the thieves, or both. Some of these footprints must be Flynn's. Right. Could be. Hey, over here. Hurry up. I see. So first you get us alone in the dark, then you zap us, huh? Hmm. Zap. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> God, they just play off each other too well. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why are you smiling like that? Let's try to get along now, okay? Yeah, that's not really gonna happen yet. But yes, we are at the Shikos Ruins, and it seems we're not alone. Before we go too deep, I want to start getting some stuff around here. There it is. But see, it still is so... Yeah, this is, uh, like, oh, maybe this could be Flynn, maybe it's Flynn, 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 oh my goodness. But it is what it is. Life bottle, 800 gold, and magic bonus, which is all very good. I believe that's where we need to go, but before that, I want to grab this. I... Mm. Uh, 
Let this be a lesson to you. This is why you don't. If you know you're going somewhere new, look around there first before you buy something. Let that be a lesson and don't do what I did. Oh my god, I feel so. Nah. Anyway, I think we're gonna come here. Yeah, there we go. Looks like no one's here. No Imperial Knights, thieves, or anyone else. Maybe they're further in? How far in are we talking here? It doesn't look like anyone's been here, does it? The information about the underground couldn't have gotten out, could it? The underground? Recently, an entrance to an underground area was uncovered here. A handful of mages are supposed to be the only people who know about it. But it's okay for us to know this? I don't have much choice if I'm to clear my name, do I? Valid. Clear your name, huh? The ground is scratched here. It's not like I would have minded letting the thieves have the ruins above ground after we finished the excavation, but it's a good thing we came here when we did. Well then, we'd better hurry up and follow them. All we have to do is move this? Yeah, nice try, big man. Come on, you have to put your shoulder into it. Um, right. Huh? I just want to state for the fact that yes, Carol's small, but he still couldn't push his two hands. And Yuri's just walking up like, boy, move out of the way. Let me show you how Come you on, do his one hand. Just a little more. Are you okay? Sure, yeah, that was a cinch. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> ah, I love her. Anyway, let's go. This is my first time going inside ruins. Be careful over there, it's slippery. This is why I love the Definitive Edition. There are like small little scenes that did not happen in the US version of this game. And my God, I love it. What are you looking at? I was just surprised. You're actually a nice person. I knew it would be a pain to bring you along. I should have just come by myself. Ah, you're grow to love us. Do you always come to research these ruins alone? Yeah. Aren't you afraid you'll get hurt by monsters or traps? There are always risks if you're trying to actually do something. Fair point. I mean, nothing fun in life is easy. If someone gets hurt, it's an acceptable loss. Even if you're the one who gets hurt? Yeah. Don't you ever worry or hesitate? Worrying about getting what you want without anyone getting hurt? You've had a pretty easy life. An easy life? And Blastia will never betray me, so they're easy to deal with. Ah. Now we hit the root. Rita 
is amazing. She just comes right out and says what she has to say. She knows exactly what's important to her. I wish I knew what was important to me. Just travel around for a while. You'll figure it out. And we have a skin. Searching the ruins. These ruins feel very different once you're inside them. Yeah, it's weird. And there's all this stuff I've never seen before. What, is this your first time too, Carol? Well, yeah. My specialty's monster hunting. Hey, what do you think this is? You really shouldn't be fooling around over there. This place is loaded with traps. Did anyone else just hear a click? Carol, watch out! No! Ah! Sorry, I thought you were about to get killed. I overdid it. I think I would have been better off getting caught in the trap. <laughs> I love that. Did anyone else hear a click? <laughs> ah, well, let's get moving. And that. Well, I might as well. Oh, man. All right, all right. One of these days, I'm gonna learn how to get that right. Ah, oh, man. I'm hoping I find some more down here. But, here we go. Pole wheel. Level 8, basic stats, and weak to fire. Wonderful! There you beat me. Alright. Hey look, it grew up. Uh, ah, ah. No! Yeah, real quick. Yep, there we go. Oops. But honestly, this place is beautiful. I like these underground ruin types. Looks like this little one is no good. Wow. So this is what Blastia look like before they're excavated. I wonder why ancient people buried Blastia in ruins like this in the first place. I wish I could tell you. That's something else being researched. There's something I've always learned in life. If somebody went through the trouble of burying or sealing up or whatever, they did it for good reason. And it's best to leave it alone. With all these Blastia here, I don't suppose there are any Aqua Blastia lying around, too. None of them have cores in them. Really? Then they don't work, do they? Blastia aren't excavated with the cores and the bodies together. Cores produce magic through formulas. Bodies control that magic. The two combined are referred to as Blastia. And Miss Encyclopedia strikes again. Each Blastia possesses different attributes, and is marked by a crest that indicates those attributes. With current technology, Blastia bodies can be manufactured, but the production of Blastia cores is impossible. So basically, cores are very valuable since they have to be excavated. It's only natural that thieves would want to steal them. It's not quite true. It seems Estelisa's information is a little outdated. What's outdated about it? There's some degradation of quality, but there's been some success in the synthesis of simple Blastia cores. Really? That's why I wouldn't do anything stupid, like go stealing people's cores. If I had time to waste doing things like that, I'd rather be spending it researching better ways to completely restore incomplete or degraded cores. That's what being a mage is all about. 
A noble creed, but Aww, that doesn't clear your name. Pleasure. Yes, talk is cheap, I suppose. Perhaps there are still some Blastia left that can be used. lesson there. Not bad. This one's still got a core in it. Here, try shooting this at the core. This ring set with something that looks just like a Blastia core. Glyph crystallization of a formula allows this Blastia to emit air as needed. That's not quite the best way to put it. <laughs> It's actually used to charge other Blastia with air. But wait, how did you know that? In the castle, I read that the ring acts as a kind of key in ancient ruins. Castle? So all I do is point? Just aim the sorcerer's ring at the core of that Blastia. Face your target, and shoot. There's a limit to its range, though. Go on, try it. Alright, and now we get one of my favorite items of the game. Ah. That's all it takes. That's a Strim Crest. It's a mark that indicates movement. Huh. Interesting. Hey! What's that? A sentinel for taking care of unwanted guests. Okay then, keep your eyes open and let's keep moving. Are you sure? What if I'm just luring you deeper into the ruins so I can zap you? I'm starting to think I'd rather try my luck with the golem. <laughs> Here, you take it. Isn't this thing important or something? We'll need to use it a few more times. Okay, I guess I'd better hold it since I'm leading the way. Yep, the sorcerer's ring. Now we have something that we can shoot at people. And here's a skit about it. I wonder if people a long time ago used little rings like this to move things around. Yes, items like this have been discovered in other ruins as well. It sure is useful for something so small. Yeah, unlike some people I could name. Huh? It's impressive that you've been entrusted with a sorcerer's ring, Rita. I've heard they're only given to a very small number of people. <laughs> Guess someone trusts you. You're the only one who doesn't. Aww. But yes, with the sorcerer's ring, I can now do stuff like this. Now I can shoot them. Just go them. away! Well, I should stun them, but unfortunately... <laughs> But yeah, you can stun them so you can get around them or um, initiate a first strike if you really want to. Dang, I could have sworn one of those has something in it. But yeah, the Sorcerer's Ring is very useful, and trust me, it'll only get better from here. This one, these couple I had to leave in, and oh, hold up. Hey, didn't you say something about the castle not too long ago? Oh? Yes, well, you see... Yeah, I was in the castle a while back. I used to be a knight. You? A knight? Please, how gullible do you think I am? Believe it or not, it's true. Will wonders never cease? Is it really so hard for everyone to believe that? Come on, let's go. Hey, they changed the subject on me. 
<laughs> yeah, nice job, Yuri. Oh, come on! I just killed it looks you! Looks like they've messed up our order. Let's take them down. Hey! Attacking from behind is no fair! And I guess they had to show this one. Now, a surprise encounter. Think you can beat us with an ambush? We can't lose here. Hey, I learned something. Learn to be. And recover. I feel this power inside me. All right, all right. That was scary. I didn't expect to be ambushed from behind like that. Well, I guess we just can't ever let our guard down where there are monsters about. If they attack from the rear, any of us could get pulled into battle. Right. Let's be careful and hope that doesn't happen again. Hmm. This only happens with a preemptive attack. Preemptive attacks, huh? <laughs> what? You guys! It's back! Hit it with what I gave you just now! Huh? You mean with this? Do it now! I'll take him out! It's nothing personal. Now! I forgot about this part. I have a bit of extra vision to this part. The din of this man! Holy power, come to me! First aid! Azure Wrench! Oblivion Blaze Burn! It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Good boy. I get it now, so that's how it works. I didn't know it could be used like that, too. Right, let's get a move on. Yep. Fire a shot at the somebody with the ring and you temporarily stun them, which gives you advantage when you fight them. That's what I was trying to do earlier, but I forgot that they basically script this part, so I can't do it until they show me, quote unquote. But trust me, you really do not want to get... You don't want to get jumped by these guys. If you do, it sucks. Just do not let them get behind you. Let's get this over with. you into next week. Next week? Alright. Sometimes the range is kind of meh. But let's stop. Ah, crap. Um. Yeah! Dang it. Okay, there we go. Alright. Um, so I'm actually going to be doing quite a few fights because if I remember correctly, I'm actually a bit on the level for what I want to do or what's going to happen at the end here. So it's probably going to be a couple of cuts. This way. And I'm almost 
positive. As soon as I hit this, that thing's gonna move. But we got a summon for repeat. And yes, it's actually better. Dang it. And we have another skit. Rita, you seem very used to fighting for someone who's been doing research in Ospio for so long. I'm just used to using magic, and I've been working to cultivate a calm mind. A calm mind, huh? Is there something wrong with that? Ooh, ouch! <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a monster. Ugh, I'll startle you someday. You just wait. That is not in your best interest, Carol. I swear. So, just like with most people in most games, there are items that will give you more strength than your ma than what your character is supposed to be doing. But in most cases, they'll usually balance out. Right now, I don't have to worry about that, but you'll see that later in the. Yes, here it is. This is a special save one. Like I mentioned before, the regular oranges books, those are just regular save points. These ones, the blue books, these will heal you when you do them. So now if you look at everybody, everybody's topped off in HP and I'm going to call it mana, but TP. We want to get over there, but like I said, I need to get fighting in. If I can hit him, that buds. But anyways, if you ever like, if you ever play this and you see one of these books when you're out playing around, you want to take advantage of that. Use that time to grind up enemies. Hmm. If that ceiling collapsed, we'd be buried alive. What are you saying? Dang, Stuff like that for Estelle? What if that really happened? Come on, don't be such a wimp. These ruins are made of stronger stuff than that. Ah! Estelle! Now the ceiling's gonna collapse because you were talking about it! Huh? No, oh, sorry, I just stubbed my toe on a rock. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Yuri, you're mean. Come on! Let's hurry and finish up what we're doing so we can get out of these ruins. You have no proof that I did that on purpose. But we're just gonna keep moving out of my way. Yeah, some, okay, that right there. Sometimes you won't get the stun, sometimes you'll just do that. You'll literally just paralyze him for a second. After clearing that little gauntlet, now I can claim this. I really wish that was for Yuri, because I, I don't like the axes. The axes are strong, but I don't like them. I god, I whiffed that. And what we got? Orange gel, always appreciated. Alright, 
good. That's the first half. Oh, God! Okay, so that's the third thing that can happen. So you can either stun them with the blue, paralyze them with the stars, or you can enrage them with the red and then they run at you. Or I need one more. I think that's all of them, but we're not going to do that right now. Because, as you can probably see up there, that's going to be a big fight. So we're going to cut things here, and in the next one, we will continue on and face our imposing golem here. But until then, DSX out. Later.